performance anxiety. Filipino may fear that they cannot take everything, especially young and traditional Filipinas who live in the provinces of Philippines. Boys, for some reason, taste every food they want, and when they are done, they leave the plate as if they never eat at all. It's no surprise that a lot of young Filipina will be in our relationship with foreigners. When you feel worthless, change places. Don't stay there. Have the courage to change your circle of influence. Go to a place that sees your value. In general, we don't like competition. We just want respect, love, emotional support, financial stability, and loyalty. Just basic, simple, and natural things that a woman would wish for in a relationship. Dating someone from a different country can be exciting. It opens up a world to a new possibilities and allows both individuals to learn and grow from each other cultures. However, like any relationship, there are certain fears and concerns that may arise. Today, we will be talking about the fears of Filipina dating a foreigner. Number one, language barrier. Communication is very important in any relationship, but when there is a language barrier, it can become a significant challenge for the couples. Filipina may fear that their limited English skills may hinder effective communications that can lead to misunderstanding. The concern here is that the language difference might lead to miscommunication and frustration, making it difficult to convey thoughts and emotions effectively. Number two, break up or divorce. Like any relationship, there is always possibility of breakup and divorce. Filipina may fear of emotional and financial that come with the end, especially if they have invested a significant time and effort. Number three, family expectations. Filipino culture is often family-oriented, and family plays a significant role in the lives of Filipina. The fear could be feeling pressured to meet our family's expectations and overly involved in family matters. Example, the relatives will tell, why don't you have a house yet? I've heard that you already have a foreigner partner. My thoughts about this is ignore them, especially those relatives or people that didn't contribute a little in your lives. After all, the relationship is not about them. It's about you. It's about the couple. I mean, it's our culture to look after our family. But if it's below the belt already, then don't even bother to listen. Because at the end, it will cause stress. And those kind of behavior is really toxic. Number four, financial exploitation. Unfortunately, there are instances where foreigners take advantage of the Filipina economic situation. Filipinas may fear that their partner is only interested in them because of financial reason rather than receiving a genuine love and companionship. Actually, this one can be applied in both sides. In this world where love is like a game for others, we can't blame ourselves to feel that way. After all, we just want to be loved, appreciated, valued for who we are and not for what we have. Number five, social stigma. Society often judges the relationship between foreigners and Filipinas, assuming that they are driven ulterior motives. This fear of being judged and being labeled can cause anxiety and stress in the relationship. When friends, family, and society hold judgmental views about intercultural relationship, it can cause discomfort for the couple. They may feel like they have to defend or justify their relationship, which can be emotionally toxic. Number six, fear of rejection. Filipina may fear that the family of their partner will not accept them. This is very true because... I have a cousin and she will soon have a baby. I remember she confessed to me last time 
that she is very excited to see her partner parents but she is afraid and she overthinks a lot she said what if i will be rejected because i am young and my partner is older than me will they also think that i'm only using my partner because of money where in fact it's not true because i love my partner since the day that my eyes lead on him Filipino women are loyal, caring, supportive, and devoted to their men. Filipinos have adapted well to Western culture, so there won't be fights over cultural differences. Despite being well adapted to the Western world, Filipinas remain traditional in their ways and would not make you feel that she is above you as most Western women would. In general, we don't like competition. We just want respect, love, emotional support, financial stability, and loyalty. Just basic, simple, and natural things that a woman would wish for in a relationship. A friend of mine came from Texas, shared his problem way back two years ago. It is his experience of dating in their country. He said that dating in our country is pressured because despite of the effort we put in building an equal society, there are still too many stereotypes that shape behavior and influence the relationship. One such stereotype is a man should be a breadwinner and a decision maker. When a man earns less than his partner or loses his job, can seriously lead to self esteem problems, anxiety, and depression. Given the numbers of women who earns more than their husband continues to grow, it's no surprise that many men starting to feel uncomfortable about that. For me, the truth is your work isn't determined by your bank account. As Filipina don't matter how much you earn, you can always make different contribution to a relationship. If your partner is good and decision making, then that doesn't make you less important as a person. Don't forget that every relationship is unique and only you two can decide what should it look like. Along with poor communication are common signs of toxic relationship. Instead of keeping your feelings inside, until they become overwhelming, you can try to share your feelings towards your partner. Don't be afraid to be miserable. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Acknowledging your feelings, your fears, and talking about them takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of strength, but I can assure you that at the end, it will be worth it. Christian Filipina is a number one dating service helping singles find potential life partners by offering a service that's safe and filled with members who share the same traditional values. It is an online community that helps you narrow your options, allows you to communicate effectively, and provides assistance 24-7. A lot of you have been asking, where can I find a traditional, loving, and caring Filipina ready to settle for the best? Someone who loves to explore the world together. Well, I got you. As I said, a bottle of water can be worth $1 in the supermarket. The same item costs $3 in the hotel and $5 in the airport. The only thing that changed are the place. Each place gives a different value to the same item. When you feel worthless, change places. Don't stay there. Have the courage to change your circle of influence and go to a place that sees your value. I've been through a lot of research and I believe that this online community can help you find your destiny. Christian Filipina has been part of many success stories. Sign up now and click the link in the description box and in the comment section. Number 7. Performance Anxiety Filipina may fear that they cannot take everything, especially young and traditional Filipinas who live in the provinces of Philippines. Those women who are not really exposed in the city life would really be ignorant when it comes to this matter. 
because city life and the province life is very different and I can witness that because I as well but I believe that when you are together with your partner when you are together with your Filipina partner I know that she will use to it I don't know but yeah that's it number eight long distance relationship many Filipinas enter into a relationship with foreigners whom we have to return to their home countries the fear of being left and the possible outcomes that would happen into a relationship mostly long distance relationship will not work but you are with a true filipina who decide to be with you in the future and to be with you alone is both of you will make it at the end and the relationship will work together number nine trust issue trust is the foundation of any healthy relationship filipina may fear that their partner might cheat on them or have a history of infidelity even me i have this fear because relationship nowadays sees love as a game boys for some reason taste every food they want and when they are done they leave the plate as if they never eat at all it's no surprise that a lot of young filipina were being in our relationship with foreigners number 10 relocation if the relationship progresses to marriage the fear of leaving their home country away from the family and relocating to the foreign land can be intimidating to a filipina i mean adapting to new environment culture finding new employment building your support system can be overwhelming but i know that filipina can achieve these fears easily because we are known to be easygoing people and then easily adapt on different things we love learning different cultures and i know that everything will be good acknowledging our fears is very important for us to be in a healthy relationship we have to appreciate small things and value those people who value our presence we have to be the best version of ourselves so that we can share the other half to our partners that's all for today guys and i hope that everyone is doing all right i will see you soon in my next vlog again thank you so much for watching and goodbye